Sometimes people think that HIV is no longer an issue in the United States, but it's not true. Um, HIV is here in Florida. It is all over the United States. People sometimes say to me, how do you work with children who are living with HIV? Isn't that so depressing? And I say, no, not to me. To me, it's actually inspiring because in many cases, I've, I've worked with children who have been born into some, some pretty crummy circumstances and they have to deal with medication and they have to deal with the challenges of potentially being stigmatized if their friends find out. But these children are so resilient. And that's one of the things that I'm thrilled that I've been able to do is to help people living with HIV negotiate some of those challenges. We have many researchers at USF and across the world who are doing wonderful work, making new discoveries and creating programs that can be very helpful. My work is taking those solutions we have from the research and bringing it into the real world. And that is what I've done for the bulk of my career. And after I had my children, I realized there was an opportunity to do the same kind of thing in the breastfeeding area. This WLP award will help me to be able to continue some of the work that I have been doing in breastfeeding. So I have been working with the state to expand the Breastfeeding Friendly Child Care Initiative, which is a program to help get child care centers knowledgeable about breastfeeding and also help them change their policies and practices to support breastfeeding families. Human milk is one of the best things that families can give to their babies. There are so many benefits. This is a tremendous opportunity for me. It is a great honor and, and I'm thrilled to be able to use this money to continue to support breastfeeding moms. Those of you who have contributed to this award at the WLP should know that I am so grateful and I will use this money to help increase breastfeeding in this state.